What's up everybody, this is Patrick from Peace Silva Studios, and I'll be your host, Patrick from Peace Silva Studios. So welcome to Hoth, I guess. No, this is the uh, ice <coughs> continent, I suppose, uh, Valfros. Um, I'm going to be showing you some suspension designs today, and some steering designs today, and uh, hopefully this will get your brains working on new ways and uh, of creating uh, better steering. Um, a lot of the uh, people out there who have really, really cool designs have miserable steering and suspension options. <laughs> so um, hopefully uh, this gets into your guys' brains and you can figure out some new and uh, cool and easy ways of, uh, uh, let's say, uh, dispersing force um, with your vehicle and steering in a very efficient way. All right, so first up, this is a, a little buggy design that I uh, came up with for uh, my... Uh, Halo Mongoose uh, design which hasn't come out yet but um, this is the steering here uh, we'll do a little test I usually drop it from the top of the box uh, to the bottom of the box to see how it disperses forces we can do it in a little bit of slow motion so we can see boom pretty sweet bounces back up so <clears throat> it actually absorbs a lot of the force and then uh, brings it back what's gonna happen here is this guy's gonna take force this spring here okay um, it's got a, uh, a little brace here that also disperses force connecting to the opposite side and we have a little uh, rotational hinge here as well as a piston and so the piston's going to absorb force the rotational hinge is going to disperse it in a circular fashion so if we go real slow here you'll see so this guy goes in boom this presses the piston in which the piston has to rotate and so we have a little rotational hinge there so <clears throat> a little bit of uh, mathematics and uh, and dealing with angles, but um, pretty simple design. What we have for the base of it, if I delete a couple of these things here, the moving parts beyond them, we've got uh, just pretty much a a little triangle of um, of attachment. So this connecting to this guy up here because. Uh, this is essentially taking the force, right? The force is going through here and it's going through this ballast, even though a lot of it's being dispersed through here. Um, I need this ballast to be very well connected. And so putting a brace in between uh, right here, see that little guy right there, <coughs> uh, is going to help this connect to this, connect to this, connect to this, right? So pretty simple way of using braces to reinforce your design, understanding where forces are going and why your vehicle is doing what it's doing. As far as uh, steering on the, after I do the suspension, boom, I throw a little steering hinge on and then sync up the, uh, the wheels to it and we have some pretty easy steering. So I will show you that right now, not that you need to be shown it, but uh, boom, boom. Okay, this is not return to center steering. I'm gonna go over that in a, a little bit, but uh, I do have to constantly decide whether I wanna go a little bit left, a little bit right, uh, etc., etc. But it takes a lot of force. It's pretty bouncy, that's why I call it the buggy. All right, moving on, we've got a uh, crawler chassis. Now this is one of my favorite designs, um, a little bit more complex here, okay? What we have is we have four different pods. One, two, three, four that are connected to a single platform, okay? Um, so this is where we build our tank or our turret or uh, catapult, whatever you want. Um, but the four different pods allow uh, a certain amount of movement uh, with each leg so that uh, it can move like a tank, but still operate in a fashion where each leg is moving independently. And so it, that means it's great at crawling uh, it's great at climbing, and it's great at dispersing forces without this guy having to move much, right? The the main centerpiece. So you don't get your uh, center of gravity thrown off too much. Meanwhile, each leg can operate independently. Um, we have wheels spaced a little bit apart, okay? Um, we've got two wheels in the front, two wheels uh, in the back, and then these side wheels are just to get enough grip. If I put another wheel there, then I would interrupt uh, this mechanism I have going on. So let me show you that right now. Delete, delete, right? So we've just got pistons. Those are the only things absorbing force, but we have a number of pistons, okay? Um, those pistons are attached to the top pistons. That's why these little guys are here. So we have essentially double pistonage. When force goes through this guy, okay, it goes straight up to this guy kind of at an angle but uh, allows you to absorb a lot more 
more force if you put pistons on either side of the joint. Now what's really cool aside from uh, these are more triangles, triangle designs, strongest shape uh, when you're dealing with dispersing forces. As you can see if I were rolling full speed up into a wall uh, this would, this little guy would want to break off, but I have it attached to uh, a piston which absorbs force as well as two braces which are dispersing force up to this guy and down to this guy. So um, this joint will mo more likely stay attached um, in the case of emergencies. Uh, <coughs> the Moving these out of the way, um, what I have are instead of one joint uh, that um, the whole pod is rotating around and relying on, uh, I needed more of a connection than that. So I have two joints. And what they do is they act like the outside of a circle instead of the inside of a circle. And they will rotate uh, around um, depending on which what forces the pod is interpreting. So these two pistons will go up or down and allow up or down movement for these two little swivel joints. Excuse me, swivel joints. Um, and I'll show you that right meow. So if I load this back up, I'm going to drop into the slow-mo, okay? And we're going to go forward, okay? So you see, as this guy goes forward, these pistons will move back and forth depending on what's going on with each pod. So they can move all independently, right? Dual suspension for each wheel, and each pod is independent uh, essentially steering and suspension, right? Moving independently, pretty much keeping the centerpiece uh, force-free. So, pretty neat there. Great crawler. Um, this was in uh, one of my uh, tank designs. I developed it from the um, the way a uh, Halo Scorpion tank works, and I have a couple designs up on that. So, let's uh, let's pull up the next one. Right, this is an RTC mod. This is more steering than uh, suspension. As you see, the suspension is very simple. I have the steering before the suspension, and the t wheels are just tacked onto these pistons. Okay, um, very easy to drop from high heights. Uh, very easy to um, not break from high heights. But the yellow pieces here, uh, I've marked, and as you can see, there's some th smaller pieces because I've modded it a little bit, and I'll show you the unmodded thing in a second. But as I'm driving here. This is what's going on, right? Pretty sweet. We've got uh, um, two pistons on either side of a uh, a ballast. The ballast, instead of staying still and the pistons moving, I have the pistons anchored, right? You see these little uh, bars here. <coughs> so all those are anchoring the piston, <coughs> which means that uh, the pistons are going to be moving the other item. Right, so when that moves back and forth, what I can do is I can attach a piston to it because angles are changing here. Uh, the piston has to be able to move back and forth or the item has to be able to move back and forth. So piston is the best thing because it can interpret those forces and it's designed for those forces. Uh, this is going to be a hinge. This is another hinge here. As you can see, these are just both hinges, just different colors and sizes. Um, and then we've got just a double, uh, a double wood um, dowel here. Okay, so when... Uh, Again, RTC means return to center steering. When I move to the left, I can let go of my keys and it just returns back to center. So if I'm going forward, it goes to center every single time. Uh, you can do some cool power sliding, stuff like that. Um, and it is, uh, because we have pistons on the bottom, it can handle uh, some weird forces back and forth, but it pretty much throws the uh, chassis wherever whatever uh, in whatever direction that the pistons don't uh, absorb force right but it's uh, independent suspension on all wheels and a forward and back um, independent steering pretty sweet so if you wanted uh, just one at the front you would just delete the back and make the back however you want you have independent steering in the front or return to center steering rather um, this is the simple design so the, you guys can make this if you don't have any mods very very simply okay instead of the um, ballast moving, what we can do is we can move the center block. So after the center block is placed, which is right at the beginning of your new uh, item, throw on two pistons on either side, okay? And all we have to do is anchor those pistons down, 
to a couple places. So what I did is I created this guy next and this guy next, uh, and then added two hinges onto either side. Then I created, uh, again, more triangles. And it looks like X's, but they're really triangles. Um, <coughs> triangles on uh, either side to lock down those pistons. That's the only reason those are there. And so when the pistons are locked down, everything in yellow has to move. Right? More piston here. This is a half spacing. Half spacing is really easy to do. Um, I had it on my crawler chassis, but I'll show you here. Okay. So if we have a um, an item here, and I want to half space, uh, all I have to do is place a wheel, and then I put down another item. Right. So if I want to put down another piece of wood. I put down the piece of wood, delete that, delete that. This is now half spaced, right? So <coughs> pretty, pretty simple. Um, hinges, hinges, dowel, and then that, okay? Pretty simple, works the exact same, and as you can see, it fell from a decent height, and no problem, no problem. Boink, right? Pretty simple, okay? But again, um, each leg uh, sends force through the entire structure. So if I bump into something, force goes through the entire structure, entire structure says no, force um, goes back to this guy, and that guy goes, I can't handle that, falls off. So um, it's strong up to a certain point, it's really good on flat surfaces, it's really good with some hills, but aside from that, not a great design if you try to build a tank on top of it. Last one. This is the wall rider. Okay, the wall rider can operate like this. Okay, it can also operate at a 45 degree angle, which is what it's designed to do. As you can see, the wheels are moving as well as the body of the item. So when it kind of leans away or shifts the uh, center of gravity when you're doing turns, so that less uh, less force is going to the most likely wheels that are going to fall off, right? Um, the other thing with this design, what we have is uh, a little plus, okay? This is where we would anchor our uh, main uh, top of the car or whatever it is. Um, attached to these are just steering joints. Uh, and on the, on the bottom, we have um, pistons. But instead of pistons on the top, we have... Uh, which would be a good idea, but uh, I wanted it to move a little bit more. Um, and so instead of a spring springing back, I just have a slider. So the slider is dispersing some force, but not as much force as the piston would. Um, it's more uh, allowing the uh, force to go straight through this, um, this beam here, uh, the brace to, in a, in a certain line, um, in line with the uh, piston, right? So they actually do work like pistons. When I'm going forward, going back, uh, those, uh, they bounce. Um, anyway, so I have the steering attached after the suspension, and it moves a lot like an RC car that I had when I was a wee lad. Right? Pretty sweet. Um, very simple design, very easy to do. Uh, as you can see, I started it from flat. I also tried starting it from up top. But what I ended up doing is if I want the chassis to go higher, or the bed of it to go higher, then I just uh, raise the wheels a little bit and I can um, then operate steering more like a normal vehicle without this guy moving too much, right? If I want to go low profile and have like a, a racer, then boom, back to 45 degrees. Now I can have this high speed uh, drift mobile, okay? Pretty easy. So all these will be available to you guys um, uh, through Steam links. Uh, I will drop them in the description. But that has been an informative discussion on how to uh, have some types of cooled suspension as well as some types of cool steering before or after that suspension. Um, let's see if I'm missing anything else. Do, 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 do. Nope, you guys are good for now. So thank you very much for uh, watching. Uh, please subscribe, like, uh, say mean things. I do whatever you want. I, 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 I'll, I'll just keep making stuff. I'll, I'm, I'm going to do me, you do you. How's that sound?